So I'm here with Dalton Mitchell. He's a member of the Cowles County Black Bears, also a member of the Alabama A&M uh, Baseball Club. So first question I have for you, you know, at Alabama A&M, you face some pretty good competition. Uh, how'd the season go and kind of what were some things that you uh, saw and enjoyed this year? Uh, the, the season the season went good. Uh, it was solid for, for myself. Uh, like I said, hitting hitting 330 uh, with, with 20 triples and, or 20 doubles and six triples was was solid and the competition was high all year getting to getting to play against like the Alabamas and the Auburns and Missouri and schools like that it, it, that's the top the best of the best so getting to play them was neat and uh, you, you see the best arms and you see the, the best defensive players and it's just good to play against so uh, that was a fun experience as, as well you know and, and then for Alabama A&M um, Kind of what was it that kind of drew you to that school and kind of uh, got you to just commit there? Yeah, uh, definitely the the schedule. The schedule they play each year it's it's loaded uh, with with opportunities as, as well as to the talent you play. Just to, to be able to be seen at, at that level in that stage, uh, getting your your chance against those those bigger SEC caliber schools uh, really drew me in, and uh, I've liked it ever since I've been there. You no, know, you do play some of the big schools. You no, know, obviously, SEC has some pretty, uh, pretty strong competition. Yeah. Uh, what was the best team or best player that you saw this year, um, going through the season? Uh, I have to think about this one for a second. <laughs> probably, I would have to, probably. Uh, I, I honestly don't know his name. He's, he was a right-handed pitcher for Missouri. He he sat. 96 to 98. I, I think he got taken in, in maybe the, the 12th or 13th round. I can, I can, I'm gonna have to look his name up after this and, and, and get you, get it to you. But he threw hard. That's probably the hardest hardest thrower I've seen. So I would have to probably say him. But I'll get I'll get his name for right. you after this. Sounds good. And then uh, you know you do play against great competition, um, but it's a big change from high school. So what kind Absolutely. of things have you had to adjust and really focus on at your time at Alabama a and versus what you had to do in high school? Uh, in high school, there's a lot of things you can get away with as far as uh, just the competition not being as high and uh, pitching not, not as hard and, and pitchers not having as good stuff. So you can get away with, with swings and really pulling and stuff like that. So I think the, the main thing I've, I've learned at this level so far is hitting to the right side. You have to, you have to be able to take a ball and hit it where it's pitched. And hitting to the right side as a right-handed hitter is, is, has been most important to me to learn as, as – as important as I can think of, just because you have to hit, hit the ball where it's pitched, you can't pull everything at this level. Well, you, you get a 90 mile an hour pitch on the outside corner, you can't pull that at this level. So really focusing on hitting the ball on the to the other side of the field. Yeah, and, and going opposite way really takes a lot of work, a lot of uh, a lot of time and practice. So That's for true. you, you know, in order to be as good as you can be, you got to have someone who pushes you and kind of inspires you. Yeah. Uh, who has been that person for you growing up and, and really got you, got you to be the best you could be in the game? Yeah. Well, two people really come to mind. Number one, mostly uh, my dad, obviously. Uh, he's as far back as I can remember, put the bat in my hand and the ball in my hand, and he's been behind me since day one. And uh, anytime I need to get work in or anything extra, he, he's there for me, and he's always been there to, to push me through things and to make sure I get through it. And uh, the second one being my – Idol Hunter Pence. I, I idolize Pence like none other. That's that's my guy. Uh, I've spent multiple hours watching video on Pence defensively and offensively, and just the way he plays the game hard. And it's it's not uh, it's not the typical way to play. His swing <laughs> is not typical, and, and uh, some of his movements and actions in the outfield are not typical. But uh, I enjoy watching what he does, and so so definitely Hunter Pence on the other end of that. And so this summer, obviously, you're with the Cowlitz Black Bears. What is your kind of goal for this summer? What are you trying to focus on and improve upon? Uh, really just uh, more more on the power side of things. Um, finishing up the season uh, at A&M, I had no home runs. Uh, and the, the 20 doubles is good and the six triples is good. But just uh, being able to prove that I can do that as well with a – in a wooden bat league with with consistently upper eights and lower nine arms uh being able to do that like i said with wood and uh being able to put those numbers up in a league that's prestigious like this mm -hmm. yeah and then last question i have for you out here with the black bears you have a lot of kids that come shirt a and m you had a lot of kids to watch you what advice do you have for that younger generation that says you know i want to play at that level as well uh biggest advice i have is to literally work as hard as you can uh 
any any time you you think you have off, don't take it off. It'll put your nose down and, and work hard. Work for what you want to do, and uh, hard work truly does pay off. So if if you just go to work every single day and grind for that goal that you have, uh, it'll happen for you. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.